Um, so today I'm, I'm going to be over the financial analysis for the Green County Federal Employees Credit Union. Um, I'm going to be over the overview, the economic environment of 2008 and 2009, the major findings of, of my financial analysis, uh, which include the profitability, the employee productivity, the asset quality, um, capital vacancy, and asset liability, asset and liability management, and uh, some of my findings. Um, the Credit Union is located in Brunswick, Georgia, and at the end of 2009, had assets of over 15 million. Um, it has five full-time employees. Um, the membership eligibility includes uh, federal government employees, which include active and service retired, and their family members, which are, um, and the credit union was chartered in 1953. And like most credit unions, is a member zone and non-for-profit financial cooperative. Um, and, um, they offer products like uh, credit cards, vehicle loans, mortgages, and medical expenses loans. Um, the economic environment of 2008 and 2009 was one of the major financial crises for the country. Um, nothing has been seen before since the 1930s on the Great Depression. Um, several major financial institutions failed like Freddie May, um, the Lehman Brothers, uh, Merrill Lynch. Um, the Federal Reserve cut his um, interest rates from 4.25 to 3.5%. Um, as a result of the financial crisis, uh, many people lost their jobs, increasing the unemployment rate. Um, because people lost their jobs, they couldn't afford or they couldn't pay uh, their loans or their debt, uh, that's why um, foreclosures increased during that time period. Um, because of that, many, many credit unions um, were more cautious in um, lending, making loans. Okay, uh, major findings, the profitability. For both um, 2008 and 2009, the profitability was significantly better than most of its peers. The asset quality was excellent. The asset composition was almost half of um, GCCU total assets. And um, the loan portfolio quality for 2008 and 2009 was better than most of its peers. Um, capital adequacy for both 2008 and 2009 was stronger than most of 80% of his peers. The asset and liability, and liability management um, for 2008, um, um, GCCU um, reconfigured its assets and liabilities to benefit from the anticipated rates of interest, but overprotecting sales during that time period. Profitability, um, GCCU was more profitable for both 2008 and 2009, um, had bigger loans, the quality, the quality of the loans were better, and um, the members were federal employees who were less, less likely to suffer the impacts of the financial crisis, and the cost of funds were lower. And the return on assets um, for 2008 and well, for 2008 and 2009 uh, was better than the peer average. Um, in 2008, it was 0.44 percent compared to 0.30 percent of the peer average, making them in the 90 um, percent rank. And in 2009, it was 0.76 percent, which we have increased from 0.44 to 0.76 percent, while uh, the peers had the loss in 2009. And the employee productivity in 2008 um, was a little below average, and in 2009 um, was about average. Uh, 
for 2009, the productivity improved a little bit, but not very much. And um, the number of members to full-time employees, it was worse than the peer average for both periods. Uh, for every full-time staff member had less than 292 employees compared to the peer average group, which had 448, uh, which was worse than 87% um, of the peers. And in 2009, we have it even worse because we increased, we decreased from, from 299 um, to 289. And, um, the average home balance was better than the peer average uh, from 12,560 compared to the peer average, which was 9,274. Uh, and in 2009, we had a slight increase from 12,000 to 13,000. And salary and benefits to full time employees. Um, we had, we're paying basically more money to um, our employees compared to our peer average group. And uh, for both periods, and employee productivity, um, a way that GCCU can increase um, his profitability is will be increase the number of members, uh, incentivize existing staff to earn more money or replace some of the current employees. Uh, the asset quality, the asset quality for both periods, 2008 and 2009, was excellent. Uh, and it represents almost 50% of the total assets. Um, the Lincoln loans, so because um, GCCU is not lending a lot of money, a lot of his assets, it doesn't have to account for a lot of Lincoln loans, so which uh, for both periods were better than most of his peer average uh, from 0.7% to 1.58 compared to the peer average. And in 2009, it was 0.59 compared to 1.78. Uh, okay, um, that's it, everyone. That's a little bit of management. Uh, in 2009, the interest were expected uh, to rise. So, boy. That's where you're supposed to be. Okay. Um, that's the quality. Okay. Um, that's the quality. Okay. So the the liquid loans to total assets were uh, better than 70 percent of its peers. Um, the net charge outs to uh, provision for loans were better than 85 um, percent of its peers. Um, and the high quality loan portfolio explains part of the current genius of average profitability for both 2008 and 2009. Uh, for both periods, 2008 and 2009, have, um, the level of capital was better than 85% of these peers, and it's clear that um, GCCU has sufficient funds to protect is depositor from any losses and far future growth. Um, okay, um, net worth to total assets for 2008 and 2009 was better than the peer average uh, from 24.25 compared to 14.11, and in 2009 it was 24.37 compared to 12.36. Total delinquent loans to net worth, um, it was 1.49% compared to a 0.09, and in 2009 it was 1.36 compared to 9.52, which is better than uh, the peer average. And asset and liability management, um, the asset and liability was uh, slightly better than most of its peers. 
the green union of protective cells it didn't experience it didn't overexpose to any um, risk. And uh, net long term assets to total assets uh, was worse than the pure average for both periods. Uh, in 2008 was 12.70 uh, compared to 18.73, and in 2009 was 12.55 compared to 18.23. Um, cash and short term investments compared to total assets. It was for both periods continued to be worse than the peer average was 32.3% compared to 25.3% in 2008, and in 2009 it was 34.7 compared to 26.69. Um, core deposits to total shares, it was better than the peer average for both periods. It was uh, for 2008 it was 83.18 um, compared to the peer average, which was 56. And in 2009 was um, 81.18 compared to the peer average, which was 56.99. Um, for loans to total assets, in 2008 it was worse than the peer average, 53.49 uh, compared to the peer average, which was 58. And in 2009 we have a slight increase. Um, it was slightly better than the peer average, uh, from 53.49 to 55.75. Uh, major findings, summary of the major findings. Uh, the profitability for both peers was uh, significantly better than most of his peers. The quality of the, uh, the asset quality was excellent. Um, the asset composition represents almost half of the total assets. Uh, the loan portfolio quality was good and better than most of his peers. And um, the capital adequacy for both peers uh, was stronger than most of 80% of his peers, and that being said, asset and liability management uh, overprotected themselves, and it didn't 